Hi, welcome to PN Snapshot. I'm Choi Won Moon and I'm, I'm Ali Terry. We are both researchers at uh, Peace Network. So recently, for our Korean viewers, you might have been seeing a lot of news articles or reports on the television about Iran, or maybe you've seen a lot of connections or comparisons between Iran and North Korea. And you might have been wondering, why is there so much focus on Iran? Or why so much comparison between Iran and North Korea? Well, today, Chaewon and I are going to give you five reasons why North Korea and Iran are being compared and focused on so much. Number one, nuclear ambitions. So North Korea has nuclear weapons and it's trying to develop to the next stage. It's trying to develop uh, or master the miniaturization stage. Iran, on the other hand, was pursuing nuclear weapons, um, but the nuclear deal of 2015 uh, stopped that. That was one of President Obama's uh, landmark achievements. So then both having nuclear weapons is maybe the first and most obvious point of comparison. Um, sticking with their nuclear weapons development, they are the two most recent uh, countries to develop or try and develop nuclear weapons. So North Korea became the last country to gain nuclear weapons, the ninth of nine countries to have nuclear weapons, and Iran would have been the tenth had it completed its development. Um, I think there's a lot of focus on these two issues or comparisons or connections between these two countries in terms of their nuclear weapons program because there's a sort of hope that North Korea's denuclearization process can be solved with a, a sort of all-in-one deal, much like the Iran process was. Yes, and there is also a difference between Iran and North Korea of their purpose of having nuclear power. Uh, Iran stated that it's only possessing uh, and developing nuclear power for peaceful purposes like nuclear um, energy. But on the other hand, North Korea stated that uh, stated or declared itself as a nuclear state. So they are slightly different mm. in that terms. Okay, number two. The second reason that you might see a lot of comparison between Iran and North Korea is that both of those countries are in regions of political interest for the US. Interestingly, the interesting point of comparison is that the US backs both Iranian and North Korean regional rivals. So in the case of Iran, the US's probably biggest ally in the Middle East is Saudi Arabia. And in, North, in the case of North Korea, uh, obviously they have a strong relationship with South Korea, but also Japan too, probably North Korea's biggest rivals. Another very common theme between the two countries that makes them comparable is that their strained relationship with the US gives the US justification for having a large military presence in that region. So um, to give you a little bit more evidence of this, or more flesh on the bones, to counter the, the threat from North Korea, the US has bases in South Korea, Japan, Guam and the Philippines. And in the case of Iran, the US has bases in basically all over the Middle East, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Jordan, Afghanistan, Bahrain and Kuwait. And actually earlier this month, the US committed to sending another 1,500 troops towards the Middle East. Both Iran and North Korea are in bad terms with the US. The US has a strong preference for sanctions against both uh, nations. Uh, U.S. think that the only way to make two nations for a uh, ban their uh, ban or give up their nuclear weapons or nuclear power is through the maximum pressure and sanctions is one of the plan for their uh, maximum pressure. So ordinary people from both nations are struggling very much. U.S. has sought to denuclearize both Iran and North Korea, but has turned a blind eye on uh, other nations like Israel, uh, India, and Pakistan. There is another similarity between Iran and North Korea is that both of them were noted as terrorist supporting nations by the U.S., especially in 2002 Bush administration administration, U.S. called both nations as axis of evil. Another point worth mentioning, very similar to the themes you were just talking about, is that for the U.S. government, both Iran and North Korea, they represent sort of high priority, um, hostile uh, states that are kind of um, 
problems that they want to solve quickly. Yeah, there is even a rumor that U.S. wants both of nations regime changed. Mm. Yeah, actually, Trump mentioned earlier this week that he would guarantee、uh, no regime change in Iran, but it seems both in Tehran and in Pyongyang that the respective authorities are not satisfied with those claims. Yes. Trump has used very similar rhetorics toward Iran and North Korea. That in 2017 there is a very popular、uh, quotation from、uh, Mr. Trump, "The Fire and Fury," which there is even a book out of it. Borrowing from Trump's exact words in his Twitter,、uh, "They, North Korea, will be mad with fire and fury like the world has never seen." So pressuring North Korea to the edge, and then、uh, he thought it would bring North Korea back to the table for negotiation. Uh, many experts say Mr. Trump is using the same rhetoric to Iran since、um, in 2019, and for now, since tensions between Iran and U.S. is heightening, and U.S. President said, "If Iran wants to fight, that will be the official end of Iran. Never threaten the United States again." So people say Trump is using similar tactics toward both countries and try to bring、uh, Iran and North Korea to the table. For negotiation. Okay, and our final、uh, point today on the comparison between Iran and North Korea. It seems as though the U.S. is trying to combine the two nations' denuclearization processes. So it, it comes across as, and many analysts have pointed out that it looks like the U.S. is trying to create a sort of blueprint. Or a sort of blanket policy for denuclearization. So whatever they use for Iran, they're going to try and use for、uh, North Korea and any other countries in the future. A sort of denuclearization standard.、Mm. And you can also confirm this information from John Bolton's remarks. Remarks made right after U.S. withdrawing from Iran nuclear agreement. That John Bolton said、um, there has been there have been a lot of loopholes in the agreement with Iran, and this should be eliminated. And they Should raise the bars high for the future nuclear agreement, which means、uh, Iran itself and North Korea. Okay, thanks for joining us today. I hope now in the future, when you see a lot of、um, links or articles about Iran or comparing Iran and North Korea, you will know why there is such a focus. And join us again next week for our new video. Bye.